Now, these are just finishing their upload, but what we want to do is make sure that all of our tracks have good metadata on them. So let's just take a look at one from the little info hover. So the key things with your metadata are A, add the artwork. It just stands out a lot more once you share those files. So you can just drag it on if you haven't already got it here. Your titles should be clean. You don't want dot master zero zero dot wave, etc. Okay? It's just the title. You don't need the artist name in the title. Artist goes in the artist field. If you've got featured artists, you can put them here. Uh, if it's an instrumental, as you can see over here, it's in the title. Explicit's in the title. Remix is in the title. Artist should be the main performing artist, not the featured artists. It makes it simpler just to keep that as a single name. Who's the releasing artist? Album, again, nice and clean. If it's a single, you can put the bass single as the album name. Composers, at least get the writer names in. Okay, if you add their percentages, that's also even better. And one more step is actually to add what their PRO is. Okay, so this is just really helpful information, especially for music supervisors that want to understand how many people are involved in the creation of this track and how complicated it might be to clear. The grouping usually is a good place to put your contact information and your control. So let's just say in this case, we control 100% of the master, but the publishing is with other people, other publishers. Genre, two or three genres. You don't need to put a lot more than that and definitely don't list a whole ton of descriptors. Uh, you just don't need to put it there. If anything, they go in the comments. So you could say upbeat, funky, groovy. That's all stuff that could go in the comments. The year of release. If this is a re-release of something, say, from the 60s, the actual original release date is more helpful to put in the year. Um, you can put the actual original release date or maybe you'd put the new release date here under the release date area but keep that original year over here. Because all of this is searchable uh, if you send these tracks to a music supervisor and they open it in their disco account, maybe a year later they're doing a search for 1967 and this just happens to be from 1967, your track's going to be up in that search. Uh, it's the same for the lyrics. Fill out all of your lyrics on all the tracks. Just take the time to do it because you never know if they're going to be doing a lyric search in a year from now or six months from now. And that's exactly what they want. Love is slow. And uh, your track's coming up in that search. But if you didn't put this information in, you're not going to be appearing in that search. BPM is quite helpful. If you use our auto tagger, which I'm going to go into a, another day, it's going to add the BPM automatically. ISRC, definitely a useful piece of information to add. Absolutely not critical though. Uh, comments, again, repeat your contact information. Just notice the difference here. If I'm in Disco and this had a whole lot of other information, it's disappeared, right? All the way down this field and I'm really not seeing it. But the comments field is nice and big and has more visual control or, or, or real estate here. So it's good to put really, really important information in the comments because they can just see it all. And you can see I've listed 50% oh, of the publishing is with this company and this one. Uh, and if you add their contact information, you're really, really starting to help a music supervisor uh, get their job done. So track order, so that would be one of four in this EP, for example. So let's save this metadata and we can hop to the next track with that little arrow and check that it's clean and you go through each of those tracks 